Hey, what's good, people? It's your boy Tom Bomb coming at you recorded. And I just want to do a video talking about how uh, God don't want us making promises, and never really seen anyone do a video like this. And uh, and I'll get into the scriptures for this like real soon. And and I, and I'll, I understand why uh, God don't want us making promises. And I never really been the, the type just to make a promise. And I, don't, I really don't like it when people try to get me to promise stuff that I don't want to do, especially if, if I don't know I'll keep it. That's why I'm glad I don't make those because I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Then, I mean, if you end up promising and then you break it, then you just disappoint the person even more. Now I'll read from Matthew chapter 5, verse 33 through 37, talking about oaths. And here's what it says. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, Do not break your oath, but fulfill to the Lord the vows you have made. But I tell you, do not swear an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth. For it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair white or black. All you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything, be anything beyond this comes from the evil one. Now read from James chapter 5 verse 12, where it says, Above all my brothers and sisters, do not swear not by heaven or by earth or by anything else. All you need to say is a simple yes or no, otherwise you will be condemned. Basically just saying the same thing what Matthew 5 verse 33 and 37 was saying. Now I'll read from the book of Numbers chapter 30 verse 2, where it says, uh, When a man makes a vow to the Lord, or takes an oath to obligate himself by a pledge, he must not break his word, he must do everything he said. So basically he's saying there, like, if you want to make a promise, you better make darn sure he's like, you can... You try to do everything you can just to keep it. And now I'm going to read from Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 21 through 23, and say, uh, If you make a vow to the Lord your God, do not be slow to pay it, for the Lord your God will certainly demand it of you, and you will be guilty of sins. But if you refrain from making a vow, you will not be guilty. Whatever your lips utter, you must be sure to do, because you made your vow freely to the Lord your God, with your own mouth. Yeah, basically he's just saying the same thing, you know, and yeah, like I said, if you want to make a promise, you gotta make sure you do everything you can to keep it. But I'm gonna go to one more scripture too. Alright, last scripture I'm gonna read is from uh, Hebrews chapter 6, uh, verse 13, and it says, um, when God made his promise to Abraham, since there was no one greater for him to swear by, he swore by himself. And I just want to shout out to Dave Rose for uh, showing me scriptures in the Bible, like how God don't want us making oaths, because like you said, only God can keep his word. And I understand that God may make promises because cause only him can keep his word since he's all-knowing and all-truthful and, and he don't lie. Especially when everybody say he don't let you down. Even though, like, even though us humans let each other down, but at least, I'm glad, at, least I'm glad, at least I'm glad the Lord don't let us down. But anyway, that's all for this message, so uh, you, you guys keep it real and keep it holy and keep it 100 in the most high and, and take care.